Hi everybody, welcome to an evening with Sips. Tonight, we're going to play some Towns. Towns is an indie game that's currently going through alpha funding uh, through an application known as Desura. If you've never heard of Desura, you can, uh, you can download it in the link that I put in the, um, in the information for the video. Uh, it's basically like Steam, but it's for indie games and, and mods. Uh, for existing games. Um, so check it out. Uh, you can you can buy towns through Desura. I think it's twelve seventy nine right now. It's it's got like twenty percent off or whatever, and uh, and that's and that's alpha funding the game. Uh, you get a full full version of the game, uh, and then when when it's actually released, and you get to play it all the way up until then as well. Um, so so yeah. So there you go. Um, towns. Towns is a bit like uh, Dwarf Fortress, if you've ever played Dwarf Fortress. If you've never heard of Dwarf Fortress, um, basically the idea is to, to build a fortress. Uh, and the idea in Towns is to build a town. Uh, for all these people, see these these bald guys, and we got Margaret here, and uh, who's this guy? Oliver, and uh, <laughs> Sybil? Yeah, and uh, and all these chickens and stuff, and basically these these people are all just sort of lounging around here. Um, it's it kind of reminds me of Lost, actually. Maybe the plane crashed in this lake, or maybe in the river here, and here they all are just milling around with nothing to do. Um, but not for much longer, because we're gonna put these bastards to work. We're gonna get them uh, gathering resources, and we're gonna get them building stuff, and uh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be really good. Um, so using the interface at the bottom here, I can I can set jobs and tasks for people. Uh, so I can get them to cut stuff, or mine, or dig, or chop, or harvest. And uh, I can click on stuff and get them to kill things. So I can kill this cow. And uh, here comes Oliver. He's an absolute monster, and he just killed that cow. Um, and he's got some raw steaks there. But nobody's going to do anything with that because we haven't told them to stockpile it anywhere. Uh, and that's where these stockpiles come into play. So if I click on this and I say, I want somewhere for raw food to go, can, uh, I can just drag a little area here. And, uh, and here we go. Oliver's going to pick up that big stake and, and take it over to the stockpile. Um, so these guys, you don't really need to micromanage them. You, you're just sort of setting up areas for them to do stuff. Uh, and that's like Dwarf Fortress too. Uh, I'm going to try not to compare this too much to Dwarf Fortress because I haven't played that game in years and I don't know how much has changed. And even when I did play it, I didn't play it enough to, to really comment on, on any sort of depth to do with it or whatever. Um, so so yeah, I'll uh, I'll try to keep that at a minimum. Uh, but for now, let's uh, let's let's get back to work and uh, let's let's get these people back to work because it's no good them just just sort of idling around, um, thumbing themselves because because uh, that's no good. Productivity is um, taking a huge hit. And, uh, whoever whoever our boss is, if we even have one, is, is going to be mad. And and now I'm I'm guilty as well because I'm not actually doing anything. So uh, let's get these guys chopping. Let's let's just drag a huge area here and get all these trees chopped down as much as we can. Um, yeah, there we go. So off they all go. Everybody's gone to work, chopping down trees with their bare hands, um, like true professionals. Or maybe they're biting them like beavers, like just a bunch of beavers. Um, Probably not, but anyway, uh, we want raw materials to get stockpiled as well. So let's drag out a really big stockpile here, and uh, and here comes all the wood. Here it all comes, hooray! Uh, we can also dig a mine, a mine. <laughs> we, we can dig a mine, a mine blast. No, we can dig uh, an actual mine, uh, and we can probably dig it here. We'll uh, we'll dig an entrance to the mine here. Somebody's gonna dig a hole there. And uh, and then if I use my scroll wheel, I can scroll down to the next level and we can see that there's stone down here. So I'll mine out a little bit of stone. Um, nobody's been down here yet, so we can't really see, but let's let's just mine out a little area here. And, uh, and that's what's quite nice about this game too. You don't necessarily need to build above ground. Although you can, uh, you can also build underground too. And uh, nobody can get down here yet because I haven't built a ladder. So, um, I'm going to have to build some sort of uh, carpentry station uh, so that people can uh, can actually build some, some stuff like ladders and walls and all sorts of other junk. Uh, so let's do that now. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll build some walls first and then we'll, uh, we'll build a carpentry station. So if I just click on the log wall here uh, and then expand this little selection area to, to cover uh, a suitable sized area. It's got to be big enough to uh, to fit like a uh, a workbench in there. I'm just going to sort of 
clicking and draw around. Leave a little gap for the door here. This will be nice. This will be really good. Nice little carpentry station. They're going to love this town. It's going to be so nice. It'll be like Main Street USA when we're done. It might take a while though. It'll take a little while. Um, so that's fine. I built that. I can go to zones now and I can say carpentry and I can just drag this area out and it's not big enough. <laughs> so I'm going to have to knock all this crap down. Just destroy this wall. These walls here. Let's destroy these walls. And actually these guys are going to have to chop down some more wood because I screwed that up a bit. So that's fine. We'll uh, just drag an area here and get them to chop down all these trees too. Now we're clear cutting. We're, we're, we're no better than like McDonald's now. Um, but, but there you go. Um, so I'll just drag out a bigger area here. And uh, God, we got to chop all this crap out of the way too. It's causing, causing mass problems. Massive problems. Let's get this down. Let's actually harvest this tree too and then chop it down uh, so that somebody can eat an apple. Oh my God. There's a, there's a frog near us, and uh, and these these guys aren't nice. They don't play nice. Look, they got a, he's got a stick. Uh, let's chop down this apple tree now, too. And actually, let's 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 get rid of this and this, and we'll build this a little bit better. Actually, uh, let's get rid of all this crap too. I don't know if we can. Can we? Uh, no, we can't. That's fun. Oh yeah, we can, sorry. Destroy stockpile. Hooray! I <laughs> just destroyed the whole thing. Oh well. Um, that's fine, I can build another one after. So, drag that out. And then we'll drag this out here too. And we'll get another wall here. And, uh, oh, thank god that frog left. Maybe he's just gone back home. I, I hopped over him and he was bruised. And I think we actually lost somebody. Uh, <laughs> Hadrian Nelond has been killed. Uh, but uh, just before he d he died, he took out the frog as well. We've only got six people left, which is a bit of a shame. We we kind of needed those those people, but uh, onwards and upwards, onwards and upwards. So uh, we got our carpentry zone now, and uh, I'm just going to go back here. Uh, I'm going to go to utils, and I'm going to build a carpentry bench right here. So uh, Margaret's going to pick up a piece of wood or two and she's going to start building the carpentry bench uh, and then when she's done she's going to place it in there and now we've got a carpentry station uh, which is which is really good that's exactly what we want we can build a ladder now see it needs a carpenter bench and uh, and we've got one so we can build a ladder so off this guy goes whatever his name is it's uh, it's Oliver Oliver again the uh, the cow killer building us a ladder uh, and then we're going to be able to mine this out and then we don't need to build anything up here we can get everybody downstairs in the safety of the underground uh, which will be nice but um oh i don't want to do that sorry i thought it was missing a uh i was missing a log log wall but i wasn't now we got this ladder that goes down so if i scroll down look all these guys are mining it out and that's fantastic and we'll mine out more and we'll get a stockpile down here so that uh, you know the evil frog guys can't uh, can't get to our stuff. That as well. Whoops. Mine. Mine. There we go. So these guys are gonna mine this little passage right here for us, and they're they're good. We've got Sybil, and we've got Robin, mining out the corridor, and then we'll mine out a nice big room here and put our stockpile, our secret secret underground stockpile. That's fun. That's fun. Um, there we go. We'll make it big make it really big. We want a lot of raw materials and um, once we got everything set up uh, we can build like containers for them to put the stuff in so that all this crap isn't lying around because it's a bit of a pigsty right now. I mean we're trying to build a pretty cool base and uh, there's just like all these stones and dirt and shit like laying around. It's no good. Um, so we'll watch these guys just work their asses right off. I mean they don't even have tools or anything bearing in mind they're actually digging up stone with their bare hands, which is pretty impressive. I, I don't think I'd be able to do that. Um, dirt, probably, actually. If I, if I put my mind to it, I wouldn't enjoy it, obviously. It wouldn't be very fun. But, uh, but stone, pretty sure that that would be impossible for me to do. So, um, so my hat goes off to these people, uh, especially Margaret, because she's just looking so good while she's doing it, too. Um, there we go, we've got that cleared out, so let's get a raw material stockpile dragged out here. And uh, it's pretty full already, but uh, off they go, they're going to fill it up even more. 
and that'll be fine. Now that we've got our carpenter bench, um, I think, can we build some containers? I gotta check out the containers section. And uh, we need a wood detailer as well. So if I go to utils and uh, see what I need for a wood detailer, all I need is wood and stone, which I have, and a carpenter bench. So let's get this thing built, and we'll get it built up here in the, uh, in the carpentry area. Uh, what's it here? Detailer. There we go. So now somebody should hopefully yep. Yeah. Oh, it's Margaret again. I mean she's just she's just like the captain of the team. She's putting the entire team on her back. She's crossing the plane with the team. She's building the wood detailer. Exactly what we need to uh to make this town a thriving town. And um good for her. She's taking the initiative. Uh one day I'll build her her own room and give her her own bed. Uh but that day won't be soon. Um because we've got bigger fish to fry. And uh and we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to get things set up here. So um, so that's good. We got a wood detailer now, which means that we can build some containers. So we can build barrels for mats, and uh, probably good to build a barrel for mats in the carpentry shed, um, so that they don't have to go too far to get stuff when they want to build stuff. And uh, we can get some more carpentry um, benches set up later if we want to like mass produce stuff can build some tools and, and junk like that but for now let's just get this uh, let's just get a couple of these containers up and then we can clear out some of this junk they'll, they'll move some of the stone and the woods and, and stuff like that it's just sort of in the way let's get another one set up there um, if you want to see through the walls you just press control and then it makes them see through and then you can see that you know there's gonna be another barrel set up there and look all these guys are, are bringing the stone up from underground and putting it into this barrel you got three three stones in there right now and things are looking good. Kill this chicken. And let's kill this chicken too. And, uh, God, let's kill this pig. Kill this chicken. And, uh, and everyone's gonna have some, some fine raw meats to eat. Uh, and, and probably get sick. Because that, it's not good for you to actually eat raw meat. Um, you know, it's full of, like, bacteria and diseases and stuff. But, um, it's the best we can do for now. And, uh, and Margaret, for one, won't complain because she's a trooper. Uh, and maybe she'll just actually eat the apples instead. Let's actually harvest some pears too. Okay, so uh, so we've got our, our our stockpile down here. We've got our workbench upstairs, and uh, I think next what we need to do is uh, is get some sort of uh, kitchen and get some sort of like food assembly going. So let's uh, let's dig out a little area here, and we'll make this our kitchen. And uh, and inside the kitchen, we'll be able to uh, to prepare food, so we can use all the raw materials. And then before long, I think we'll probably want to grow some wheat, make some bread, because everybody loves bread. I love bread. Do you do you love bread? I'm sure you do. Um, so here we go. We'll get the kitchen area here. It'll be a big kitchen, because why not, right? It's good to have a big kitchen. Uh, we'll go to utils, and uh, we'll get a butcher table. Um, so we can butcher animals for their meat here, and all we need is wood, which we have, and a carpenter bench, so no problem. Actually, I think we probably need to chop some more wood now, um, which is fine, because I can do that. I can do anything. Um, <laughs> we want to watch out for this healthy froggy, so maybe we shouldn't send everybody there. Coast looks clear up here, though, so let's get a chop order going um, go in here. There we go. Everybody should should run over and uh, and try to chop stuff. Uh, we can also build a container down here uh, for raw food and we can put it, uh, we'll just put it here for now, that's fine. Um, God, we need to move some of this mud out of the kitchen. It's not, not very hygienic. You don't want a lot of mud near where you're preparing food. Um, but again, I don't think Hadrian, who I thought was dead, oh man, maybe he's come back from the from the dead. And he's just scaring Robin down here. He's just idling at the stockpile. I don't think he actually died, which is good actually. So that means somebody else died. We should have seven people. Or maybe I'm getting confused. Oh god. Uh, and now I'm just getting a bit scared actually because uh, we've, we've got somebody gone AWOL and it's not Hadrian and I thought it was. And uh, oh Jesus. Okay. Um, there's only one thing we can do about that and that's uh, kill a chicken. And um, what the hell, let's just kill a badger too. Oh, God, it's getting stressful already. Okay, so now we've got this um, <laughs> we've got this container and we've got some raw steak, raw pork, and a bunch of raw poultry. Um, so that's good. That's fine for now. And um, we're probably going to want to get a baker's table. 
um, and and a kitchen stove. Kitchen stove we need iron for. Um, God, I don't know if I'm gonna play long enough to get to that point. Um, you know, I could always do I could always do more of this uh, afterwards or whatever. Uh, we can we can certainly build a cooking fire with, with some flint. We'll get some flint after. Uh, but for now, let's try to get uh, let's try to get some um, some stuff going up here and let's. Um, Let's till some land so that we can get some uh, some wheat growing. And, uh, and here's a good spot. So we need three by three, three by three. Oh my God, there's a frog there again. God, you guys are just everywhere. And uh, and let's also till this as well. And hopefully this frog doesn't get too agitated. Um, I don't really want to attack him because he's got a stick. And oh God, he's fighting Robin. And uh, wow, Robin killed him with a punch. Well timed punch to the throat. Think and uh, and that's quite good. So here they go, filling the land, and uh, we'll get some wheat fields set up. And once the wheat fields are set up, um, we should be able to uh, to bake some bread, and that'll be nice. A wheat farm, you know, like on the cereal boxes. Hooray! Okay, put a wheat farm down there. Put a wheat farm here, and we'll put a wheat farm here. And uh, and then we're gonna have to build a windmill, uh, which requires stone, which thankfully we have a shit ton of. So we'll get the uh, we'll get the windmill built right here to make it look realistic, like right next to the fields. And uh, and that'll start making us some flour, and uh, and that's what we want. We want some flour. We can build our baker's table, and we'll be all good. Uh, but before we do any of that, we're gonna need to build some tools and. Uh, we're gonna need to build some stone hammers. So we need stone and wood, which we have, and a wood detailer, which we have. So let's uh, let's set the order. Let's get six of these bad boys built so that everybody gets their own stone hammer, and uh, and that'll be good. So the order's in. We're building some stone hammers, and uh, God, we need to move this mud. Maybe I need another container to put materials in. Barrel for mats. Let's do it. Let's get one there. And, uh, we're probably going to need some more wood. God, it just never ends. You just got you, you constantly have to do stuff in here. Um, that's okay though. It's fun. Oh god, there's a lot of frogs around there. Um, out over here. Ah, this is fine. Some wood from here. There we go. We don't want them to go too close to the frogmen. We'll build some weapons and and arm people soon. And then, although, what, what's his face? Not Donald, but somebody somebody punched one of the frogmen before, and uh, God, I think it was Robin actually. He's trying his luck again. <laughs> He's done it. Robin Robin is actually the Incredible Hulk, uh, killing frogmen like there's no tomorrow. Um, that's fine though. So uh, here comes all the wood, and it's it's quickly being used up for all the uh, the orders. I say all the orders. I've only I've only told them to build one mats uh, container, but uh, let's get another one set up here as well. And uh, once these are down, you can start moving some of this crap into there. And they're, they're using the stone to build the hammers and stuff as well. Oh, that's right too. Yeah, I had all those hammers built. That's where all the wood's going. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I'm going to chop down some more stuff here. Um, no frogmen around, is there? No, there's not. And let's let's harvest this pear tree as well. And uh, while they're at it, harvest this friggin' apple tree too. God, you lazy bums. Anyway... So we should we should be getting some flour, and I think that is going to go into the uh, into the raw food barrel, uh, which we could do with having another one actually. So let's do that. We'll build this other raw food barrel here, and hopefully these guys start moving some of this friggin' mud out of the way. It's just it's it's just in the way. It's causing big problems. Chop down this tree too, and let's harvest this pear tree and apple tree, and then we'll chop those down too. Because we need a lot of wood. We need tons of wood. Because we're going to have to build walls and stuff downstairs soon. People need bedrooms and beds and stuff like that. And then and then before long, they'll be able to make babies together. Because, um, you know, a man and a woman, when they get together and they love each other very much, they make babies and then we'll, we'll grow the population of our town eventually. Probably, probably not this time. Um, I'm not going to play this for that long. I just want to show you guys what this is like. And, um, and hopefully I'm doing it some justice. It, it, it's quite a fun game. And you can get really lost in it. You can spend tons of time uh, at playing this. And here's here's some flour. Here's some flour. That's what we need. 
And uh, actually, we should probably get our... Um, what do you want? Do we want a mason's bench? Probably want a mason's bench because we want to build a baker's oven. And we need the mason bench for that, which means that we need a masonry area, uh, which we can do. And we'll, we'll build it here. It's fine. It's fine here for now. We can move it later. And uh, let's get this mason's bench put down here. What do we need for that? Stone and a stone hammer, which we have. So hopefully... Oh, why are these guys bringing bones down here? That's disgusting. I don't want bones in here. Um, luckily, I can actually just say not to put bones here. Uh, I can say disable bones. And, uh, and they will no longer bring bones down here. And see, they're moving them and just putting them on the floor of the masonry area, which is absolutely disgusting. But there you go. So here's, here's the mason bench, uh, which means that we can now build our um, baker's oven. And we'll build it in here. Oh, no, we need a bakery area, I think, actually. We need a bakery area. Bakery, yes, we do. We'll build the bakery right here. A little bakery. It's just a temporary bakery. It's not, uh, it's, it's not the, yeah, the sealed deal. Let's get this baker's oven built here. And uh, do we have everything we need for it? Yeah, we just need stone, a mason's bench, which we have. Good old Margaret's on the case. She's gonna build that oven. And then we're gonna start baking some bread. Um, I think. Do we have everything we need for bread? Kitchen stove. We can't build that yet. We don't need that. A cooking bowl. Very nice. Kitchen table used to make meat-based foods. Uh, yeah, let's build that too. That'd be good. We can build. We can. We can build some meat-based foods. That'll be nice. So we got the bakery oven. Uh, what can we do with this? We can expand the bakery. Oh yeah, you can just expand the area if you've already built it. But um, we can start mining out some hallways here and uh, and make our base a little bit more like a base. Now that we're producing some some food and stuff, uh, it should be good. What do we have in here? We've got flour. Okay, and actually we want some prepared food containers as well. Uh, for prepared foods, great. Let's put that here. God, I wish these bones, like, weren't... Why are these people... Oh, God. Robin's hungry now. And, uh, I hope he's eating something. Yeah, I think he is. Robin's like our star player, aside from Margaret. I mean, Robin's got, what, like, three confirmed kills? He could, like, um... You know, if he was like a fighter pilot, he would have like uh, pictures of stuff on the side of his plane, you know, like when they do when they get confirmed kills. It's Robin. Margaret. Margaret's the productive one. Robin's the muscle. And uh, and all these other jerks. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, they finally moved all the mud out of the kitchen, though. So that's good. And we got some dirt and mud down in this hallway here. Um, but we'll mine this out a bit more. Um, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with this yet, actually. Uh, maybe we can build some... Uh, like a sleeping quarters for everybody, um, just for now, and then later on we can we can build them all their own bedrooms, uh, and they'll be so happy. Everybody likes to have their own room, don't they? So let's make a like pretty big sleeping quarters here. Start building some building some beds for people. That'll be nice. I think that's probably a good place to stop. Actually, I hope I've shown you enough of this game to uh, to do it some justice. It's definitely worth um, getting, especially because it's a bit cheaper now that you can do the alpha funding, and um, you'll have a full copy of the game when it's ready, and uh, you'll have full access to the alpha and the beta versions leading up to that as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I might do more of this actually uh, once I can figure out how to actually bake bread. And, uh, and use iron and all that other cool stuff. Uh, I might do more of this, but let me know what you think anyway. Um, if you found this pretty boring, um, I won't bother doing any sort of playthrough or whatever, but, uh, but I've had fun playing this, and, uh, and I'll have fun um, playing this going forward as well. And, uh, and I hope you do too. So for now, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll catch you for the next one.